back to Talk of the Town. Kathy Ulmer has joined us. She's owner, along with her sister Cindy, of Ulmer Family Pharmacy. Good to have Hi. you with us. Good to be here. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk specifically in this five minute segment about compounding. Yes, ma'am. And specialty compounding. Really, what compounding is, how you do it, what is, what kind of uh, drugs are, are, are compounded, compounded, all of yeah. that. So let's just begin with what is specialty compounding? So specialty compounding is where we, um, we kind of stand out from a regular pharmacy. In a regular pharmacy setting, you dispense all manufactured products um, mm -hmm. and uh, you don't have the ability to kind of think outside the box, which is mm -hmm. something that we're um, really proud of. So we have a lab inside of our pharmacy mm -hmm. and in that lab we're able to buy the hard ingredients or the powder ingredients of a lot of medications. And then we can specialize in dosages for specific people um, if they don't come manufactured. So mm -hmm. any drug that's not manufactured or strength or special things for like mm -hmm. uh, pets and stuff, we can make right there in the lab, right. Right. Um, which is exciting. You know, we use a lot of data to do it, but um, it just gives us all these opportunities to um, really treat the patient. I think that you would really have to have extremely specialized training to be able to do that. So every pharmacist, I don't think, would understand how to do compounding, You're right. right? And every pharmacist has probably some background in school about okay, what compounding right. is and how to do it. Right. But um, my staff and I have spent hours of <laughs> right. training um, right. through uh, specialty companies that offer mm -hmm. veterinary training, uh, hormone replacement training, and so we do all these classes. Um, I've been able to get a certificate in veterinary medicine, and uh, but all of us have done veterinary training because that's really outside of what a pharmacist learns right. in pharmacy school. So we do specialized training so that when we get those questions, we know and we're able to um, troubleshoot. So talk a little bit more, Kathy, about um, the types of prescriptions, drugs that would be needed to be compounded. Right. So there's a lot of things that aren't <laughs> available manufactured. So our specialties are like veterinary, because a lot of veterinary right. medications just aren't available. Mm -hmm. um, so we uh, can make you know treats or liquids or something that maybe the animal would take that's not available. We do pediatric flavors and things to help pediatric patients okay. or specialized small dosage for mm -hmm. pediatrics. We have adults who can't swallow, so oh, if it only becomes okay. as a pill, we okay. can make it into a liquid. liquid. Some things like bioidentical hormone therapy, mm -hmm. isn't a, it, it's manufactured in some ways, but not the bioidentical part. So we can specialize that, which every woman has a different right. combination of hormones. And then we do things to think outside the box, like pain topical creams. So, you know, right. instead of taking medications, you're able to just apply it directly to the area like the knee or the elbow right. or wherever it might be to not get systemic okay. absorption. Do you think physicians truly understand your capabilities in the compounding world? Of not pharmacy? really. I mean, a lot of them do. A lot of the newer pharma mm -hmm. uh, younger doctors yeah. coming out are getting more mm -hmm. of that education, especially with shortages and stuff, because we can fill that gap. If you can't sure. get it manufactured, we can make it in our labs. Right. So they're seeing a lot of that, but we do spend a lot of time and we mm -hmm. encourage prescribers to call us and ask us, like, if they have a situation that they can't seem to find or resolve, we have a lot of tools to make it in our lab in a way that'll fill that gap. Right. And so talk a little bit more about the relationship, the partnership that you have with your customers, your clients. Oh Those, man, this is my favorite part special. of my job. It always is. Like I, I, the other day I probably spent 15 minutes talking to a patient and um, it was really exciting because she had been suffering for over like a year with not being able to solve um, her medication issues and just she's such a wonderful person and we talked and we solved it and um, you know th those are the moments where you're like okay I'm doing what I want to do you know I'm, yes. I'm serving my customers and all of my staff get such positive feedback because we really want when you come through the door I might fill your medication but I want to know about you yeah. like so and in those relationships we catch a lot of things like I missed dosages do. and interactions because just you're having a conversation with him. You're like, weren't you well, in the other day? But yeah, and you're it, you know, you're itching or you're having you yes, know, maybe that's brought on a yeah. fever or whatever. So mm -hmm. that is, I, I would think, is extremely important. It in is. What you do. It is. And with our, and then we also have delivery. So like right now with everything going on, we have customers that just don't want to go out. Yeah, and and right. I. I I feel good that we can take their medications to them and solve that problem for them. Kathy, what is your website? 
It's olmerpharmacy.com. Simple enough, olmerpharmacy.com. Yes, ma'am. Right. So, And your location is uh, 68 Bluffton Road. Yes, ma'am. We're right, right there in between Mexicali and Doctor's Care. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with us. Kathy Ulmer with Ulmer Family Pharmacy.